Steven here. here. Uh, welcome to a new video. Happy Thriftmas. Today we are um, at the Veterans Thrift. I just got here. I got here 30 minutes early and there's already a line. So crazy. I'm trying to get some stuff um, that goes on sale today. So let's see what happens. Let's head into the store and go check it out. The line is long, you guys. The line is even longer now. It's going all the way back there. We're going in, so excited. Oh, there's the two bags that I want. They're still there. Okay, there's a bunch of people in the store. I'm just trying to look through everything as quickly as possible. They have so many hunter boots. Are any other one still? So I'm looking through the bags. Some lady like came here before me while I was in the back and she grabbed so many of them. Like it was amazing. She has so many bags in her little arm. She was like five feet tall. She had like so many. Well, I don't think I see anything else really too exciting back here as far as the handbags go. This DC sky bag is still here. So I'm considering that. There's these $10 hunter boots, which are pretty nice. I might get those. Then this little Michael Kors. It needs to work, but it's $20. And then there's this one. It's um, The brand is Chocolate. So, it's only seven bucks. I'm looking through the jackets. They have like three members only jackets. What is this? Oh, Wallace and Barnes. This is like a expensive brand that they carry at J. Crew. I'm gonna look into this jacket. But there's the other members only. There's the red one. This is like legit. Eyes on London Fog. Ooh, go for it. Guys, there's this super cute Mark by Mark. This is like an anorak. Is that what it's called? I don't even know what it's called. It kind of looks like a raincoat, but like it's like waxed um, canvas. $75. I'm going to wait for it to go on sale. But it's really cute. Like, that is a cute jacket. I think I actually might get this jacket from my dad. I'm gonna inspect it in a little bit to see like if it was in good shape. But like this is gonna be like that would be like a good gift. I can give it for a part of my thrifted presents thing. Levi Strauss. Oh my gosh, it's furry inside. That looks so comfy. Some John Varvados. There's some Clarks right here. I wish the shoes weren't so big. <laughs> then I can get them and wear them. But they're like all like these ginormous sizes. Look at these. These are nice. Alright you guys. I'm looking through the backpacks and stuff. And the tote bags. There's this like cute Marc Jacobs fragrance tote bag. Like how cute is that? Two bucks. I kind of want to get it and send it to the Philippines. Okay so get ready for this because I was cracking up when I saw this. But um... There's this fake Chanel bag. It literally is embossed right there to say original. Like, they're like, no, it's real, I promise. It's so funny. I can't. Anyway, and then there's also, this is this one's a little bit more convincing. And it's this um, Fendi briefcase. It's actually, like, kind of cute in a way. But, um... Pretty sure this one's also fake. I'm not too sold on that label right there. Even though it is like maybe some sort of vintage thing. So I'm looking through the glasses. Seeing if I could find any crystal.
Ooh, this one's crystal. This one is glass. Oh, this is Lennox. Ooh, how pretty are these? How many are there? It looks like three at least. I think, like, upon closer inspection, the glass, like, it's a little too scratched and this one's broken. So we're gonna leave them. Though so those were pretty cool. Wonder if we can find any other cool glassware. They have this um, gaunt jacket. It's like kind of worn in, but like in a cool way. Gaunt is like a pretty like expensive brand, but this is twenty five bucks. Just found some men's Ferragamos. Those are forty bucks though for those shoes. I'm like checking out all the shoes now. Is there anything cool? You guys, I found these, um, Doc Martens that look like Chucks. I've never seen this style before. This fake Gucci shirt has been cracking up. It looks so intense and there's holes in it. I just found like this cool shirt that says Rip YSL. I just found this Gucci shirt that I am not sure about. But there it is, it says it's Gucci, size large. It just has a little tiger guy right there. Uh, I found this Kenzo shirt, you guys, but it's $30. It's cute, though. Guys, I'm cracking up with this shirt. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Oh, look at the label. Oh my gosh. found a nice Armani shirt for only $2. Oh my gosh. Why would I feel like mom would love these, but they're size 37 and they're too small? Oh no, they also have these really cool like coach biker boots right here, very very nice, like that, those are $28, these Michael Kors are pretty cute too. What are these? Are these Doc Martens? Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I just found these Prada shoes. They're 20 bucks. I mean, they're not in bad shape, but like, I can clean them. If they don't get clean, I can dye them black and that would be super easy. But they're pretty nice though. There's also these brand new Madewells, which are super cute. They are a size... What size are they? don't know what size they are actually. Just kidding, they're size 9. They have the cutest all fur Ugg slippers. I want to get them for my sister, I think. Like, these are so cute. Whoa, there's more Prada shoes. 38 and a half. These are satin. But the backs are kind of messed up. I just found these Versace heels. They are fierce. Guys, the haul is gonna be amazing. I got so much stuff, I felt like Santa walking out. There are so many people online. Just got back inside the car. There's literally still a really long line to get into the store, so I feel really bad. But um, yeah, I'm so excited. I was there for, oh my gosh, nine. I was there for two hours, two and a half hours. It was so much fun just like looking through everything and taking my time, because I normally, whenever I come here, I'm always like in a rush, but I was like, you know what? I'm here early today take my time a little bit but now I'm starving mom has been showing me photos of what she's been cooking so I can't wait to go home and eat but we're gonna go home and I'll show you guys also what I got hey guys okay so we are um, in my room now and the camera it feels a little crooked okay so we are um, in my room now we did awesome this morning okay so I'm probably gonna title this video what I got um, at the store for eight dollars or something like that. Uh, how do I cover like the credit information or whatever? Uh, but here is my receipt, and here I spent eighty dollars and seventy-five cents, and I saved a hundred and two dollars and thirty cents. So. I saved more than was the total amount of what I spent. So that is 
fantastic because otherwise I would have spent $175.54 so that discount was amazing I love looking like uh, for a deal and today was the day normally I don't spend so much time like looking through the clothes and like the shoes and everything but I really took my time today in the store I went really early in the morning they opened at 9 I was there before 8 30 the line was already long luckily though um, I was in the part of the line that was able to go in right when the store opened so I didn't have to wait outside still um, but even after I left I spent like two and a half hours I think there inside the store when I left there was still a really long line that went down to like the back of the store um, so that was crazy but I got some really awesome stuff okay so let me okay, first of all uh, let me show you guys the bag this is the bag there's so much stuff. Ah, there's bags inside of bags. Because that's just how they did it. Uh, let me start off uh, with this bag of clothes. Right here. Oh my gosh, my battery is dying. I literally just changed it. Okay, we are back. Um, so let me start off though with this bag of clothes. Now all of this, like I think I'm probably, I don't know, like I, I, I'll probably keep for myself. Or like gifts during the holidays but I got some pretty cool stuff let me start off first with um, this All Saints shirt it was um, a white tag but white tags were 75% off so this is an All Saints shirt um, All Saints shirts are so nice the quality of them is very nice um, though this is like tiny for me I'm definitely like not gonna keep this for myself uh, but uh, all state shirts are just really nice and whenever I see them I usually try to pick them up if they're a good price so it was $10 it was 75% off so it was like $2.50 which is I think is a good price for the shirt um, but yeah so there is the first item love it okay then I also picked up uh, this white Vin shirts again like a plain white tee is very nice Vince makes really great quality shirts and this one was three dollars but yellow tags were half off so it was only a dollar fifty so that was another really great deal I love like the store like sometimes like their stores the prices of their clothing like can in general, especially here in Southern California, I feel like prices have been going crazy. They go up and down. Well, they don't really go down too much. But, like, they fluctuate intensely. And they fluctuate from store to store depending on where you go. And, like, or, like, depending on who's pricing an item, too. So there's just, like, so many factors that go into all this. Um, then I got this. This is an Armani shirt. I don't know if you can see the little tag. Armani collection. Armani collection down there um this one was $1.98 but it was 25% off so it was like $1.50 uh just like a nice like a big shirt and I feel like I'm gonna like wear this like just like at the house like for pajamas or something uh but this like I got it because the shirt is so ridiculously soft the fabric is amazing so I just had to pick it up um then <laughs> I got this shirt. This shirt was pretty funny. It's a Levi's shirt casual. Uh, I think the brand is like Levi's casual. Levi's Strauss of California. Um, Sand fries, whatever that means. And this shirt was made in Portugal, which is cool. And I got this. I just thought it was funny because it says I'm a mess. And like I love seeing like <laughs> that's a mess I like that's a hot mess so I just thought this was like a really really funny shirt again this one was three dollars uh 25 percent off so it was like what a two uh, 225 is that what am I doing my math correctly I don't even know but it's like under three dollars which is fantastic and that's all we can ask for for a shirt um then Oh, I thought this shirt was so cool. I thought it was funny. But it says, 
R-I-P-Y-S-L. I thought this was a really cool shirt. Um, I don't know like what the brand is. I didn't see like any labels or anything on it. But um, I got it anyway. And it was $6.98, but it was 25% uh, off of that. And um, I got it because I just thought it was like a funny shirt and I've never seen one that says this before. But um, as you guys know, if you guys um, like, follow, like, YSL, like, they, YSL used to be Eve Saint Laurent, and then they dropped the Eve's part, and now they're just called Saint Laurent, and that's why, like, during that time, like, when that happened, a lot of, like, t-shirts came out that, like, said something like that, like, there was one that said, ain't Laurent without the Eve's, or something, so, like, they just made a bunch of shirts that were like that, um, then this was just, like, a Philip Lim for Target shirt, but I thought it was really cute, so I got it. Again, this was $3, but it was 75% off. I liked the color blocking with the white and then the black on the bottom. I thought that was a nice touch. So I got that. Plus, I like the fabric. It's, like, kind of cool. Then I got this shirt. Um, it's just a Zara shirt, but I thought it was, like, pretty fun. I like the tie-dye of it, so I picked it up. Really cool. I like that green tie-dye effect. I thought it was just like a fun shirt, so I got that. Then I picked these up, uh, this shirt up, because like band, like Britney Spears things are always kind of fun. Plus Britney's like, you know, she's definitely iconic. And it just says, uh, Britney Spears, you want a piece of me. And this is from her Britney Spears collection. Just like a cut-off shirt. And then, last but not least, I got um, this polo shirt, and I don't know, I just picked it up because I really like polo shirts, and this was just like a nice gray one. It was $7, but it's half off, so it was $3.50, so picked that up. Love it. Okay, so I think, is that all the clothes that I got? I think that's all the clothes that I got. Then, the next thing I have here is, I picked this up, I'm probably going to send it to, like, my aunt in the Philippines or something. Um, because they like, like, bags like this. Or, like, we can just use it, uh, like, when we go to the grocery. But, I picked up this Marc Jacobs perfume bag. I just thought it was cute. Black with the gold, has, like, a fun bow. It was $1.98, but it was a yellow tag, so it was half off. So it was only $1. Which is always fantastic. And that is, like, a good price, I think, for, like, a nice canvas tote bag. Um, canvas tote bags are usually more expensive than that when you buy them, like, at the grocery store when you're checking out. Okay, then I got some pretty iconic shoes. But first of all, let me show you guys these. I don't know how popular Hunter boots are anymore. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like they're still pretty popular, right? Like, they are. I don't know how popular they are in, like, California, where people don't really wear boots, rain boots as much, because it's... Not really raining as much, but like, I mean, you can use these for like gardening or whatever. Even if it's not raining. Who says you have to wear them when it's only raining? But I got these great purple ones. These were only $10. They were $40, but they were 75% off. So, happy about these guys. Whenever I see Hunter Boots, they're usually far more expensive. So I thought that was a great buy. Ooh, okay, so this is definitely gonna be a gift to my sister, and she is gonna be so excited. My mom is, like, so jelly because she really loves these, and, like, they're way too small for her because my sister's foot is tiny, and this, these fit her, will fit her perfectly. But they are these Ugg slip-on slippers. They are just fur everywhere, outside, inside. The only part that doesn't have fur are the bottoms. Um, these were $14.96, uh, so they're $15, but they were 25% off, so, how cute are these? Ah, love it, so fun, I'm probably just gonna, like, try and clean them, um, the only dirty parts are probably, like, the bottoms are, like, kind of, like, more dirty, and then the one that was on display, because not all their shoes they keep out, like, some of their shoes at this 
there's at this thrift store uh they only keep out one shoe and then they have to bring it to the register and then they'll give you the other one and then you can inspect them before you purchase so but um really 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 excited about these my sister is gonna flip this is definitely gonna be a great thrifted christmas present for her this holiday season uh which is great Oh, if anyone else is thrifting uh, Christmas presents as well, comment down below. Let me know if like, let me know if I'm not like the only one that does that. But I don't know. My my family expects that from me at this point. I feel like everyone gets like pretty into it, and they're like, "Whoa, that's so cool!" And I feel like throughout the year, I already like get them like thrifted stuff all the time. They're just like used to it. Um, so I don't know. Why not birthdays, Christmas? baby shower or whatever um then i got the this pair of these are made well sandals and they are literally brand new like they have never been worn they're so cute these were um twenty dollars but they were 75 percent off so these were only five dollars five dollars for these sandals like i know it's like currently winter but i mean spring is just around the corner summer and these are going to be Fantastic on someone's foot. These are a size 9. Oh, this what these might even fit mom Even though I don't think she doesn't really like thing like ankle-y things. She doesn't like to deal with the ankle straps, but I mean Yeah <laughs> Okay, then up next these shoes are really fantastic too um, I think they just need a little bit of a cleaning and if I can't clean them I could even dye them because they're all leather, but I uh, picked up these Prada heels. They're pretty cute. Like, I mean, they're cute, right? They think they just need a little bit of a cleaning, like, on the front. Uh, but the rest of the shoe itself is in pretty good shape. The heels are still pretty nice. Like, the soles, they're a size 40 and a half. These were also $20. So that makes... And they were a white tag, so they were 75% off. They were only 5 bucks. This is the deal, you guys. This is the deal. Okay, but then... Last but not least, so these shoes are probably like, these are so iconic, because I remember these shoes, um, but these are the Versace, what were they called, like, um, met, like, button shoe, snap button shoe or something is what these were called, um, I remember Katy Perry wore them, like, I, I remember a bunch of celebrities wore these shoes. I think they came out like around 2011 or something like that. But uh, if you Google it, like so many celebrities have worn these shoes like in different colors. Super popular. This is the black patent and they are gorgeous. These are in size 40. They are not very worn at all. The bottoms of the shoes are in pretty great shape. Like they don't look like, they've probably been like worn like once. It almost looks like only once. So these are such great shoes. They are iconic. Um, and I think that when Versace did a collab with H&M, um, they did like a shoe very similar to this, but like not as like dramatic and without, I don't think it had the button, but like it kind of had like the same like silhouette of like the shape and style of like the leather straps on it or whatever. So yeah. Very excited about these. This is like, these are gonna be gorgeous. Like, oh my gosh, when cor when Corona is like over and we can go out and party, like who's ever gonna be wearing those shoes are gonna be like living their best lives. Like those shoes are stunning. So, but that um, is going to end the portion of like what I got for eight dollars. Now, special mention because um, <laughs> I did end up getting these as well, but I had to do a separate transaction because. They make you, if, if you buy anything in, like, the, um, like, the jewelry counter in the back of the store, they make you pay there. Um, so, this is, like, the second half of what I spent. Where's the receipt? I swear this had a receipt attached to it. Where'd my receipt go? It was, like, stapled on. Okay, well, Hadrian lost the receipt. Did it fall inside? I don't know. Um, I got these. I think I got these two things for like 75 I want to say $75, but the receipt's missing. I don't know where I went. 
Did it fall on the floor? Anyway, <coughs> excuse me, I got this Claire Vivier backpack, and I know it's monogrammed, but I kind of like that it says, aw, it's like, aw, even though I know it's spelled the, like differently, or like, A-W for like, I don't know, Alexander Wang, or, I don't know, but I just thought like, it was still like, cool, like, I would still rock this backpack with the monogram on it, and I feel like it's like, kind of like a funny story, it's like, oh, like, why is it monogrammed like that, I mean, it's a Claire Vivian backpack from the thrift store, like, you take what you can get. It's literally brand new, never worn, so it has the original straps onto it. So it looks like, because I think you can order these and get them, like, monogrammed if you buy them, like, online. Um, I love Claire Vivier stuff if you guys are not familiar with her items. Um, I think all her bags are made here locally in California, like in LA. Uh, and her bags are so beautiful. I love the leathers that they use. They're so fantastic. I've always wanted um, like a backpack from them. And this backpack is like a $500 backpack. $500. So um, this particular bag was, they had it for $175, but I got it for 75% off. So that was a deal. Um, very excited about this backpack. I'm very, very happy. Like, it looks, it's so cute. I cannot wait to, like, use it. I'm definitely gonna be using it, like, this weekend. It's so fun. And, yeah. Very happy. I'm so excited. It even still has, like, the original dust bag and everything that comes with it. Um, I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> this backpack is so good. I love it. So, okay, so there's that. I just love feeling the leather, too. The leather is so, so nice on this. Okay, and then, the next thing I have here that I'm also very excited about um, getting is this extra large uh, MZ Wallace tote bag. This is another bag that I've actually wanted for myself. This is going to be the perfect travel bag um and like when we can start traveling again especially like when we can start like going back on planes like when we go to the philippines this is probably going to be so fantastic to carry on the plane it's lightweight it's soft you can tuck it away easily it can hold a ton of stuff and it's black so it won't get dirty easily and this bag is like literally like still new um it's fantastic i'm so excited about it uh, the only thing that could have made it better if it was, like, yellow or something, but, I mean, that's okay still. It also does come with, like, this little, like, pouch, and then another, like, pouch that's, like, a little bit bigger. What's inside here? Oh, uh, it's just, like, it has, like, the original, like, stuffing that comes with it. So, um, you can use one as, like, a dock kit or something, or you can put your shoes in the other one if you have, like, an extra pair of shoes, which is actually pretty fantastic so I am just really excited this one was a hundred dollars but it was also 75% off it just ugh, I I like went hard looking for stuff that was 75% off but um that makes that bag only $25 which is awesome so that is gonna be at the end of the video Thank you guys again so much for checking out what I got. Let me know if you want me to do, like, a video for, like, if I actually, like, uh, w like, for the stuff that I list. Like, I'm thinking about doing, like, more, like, selling videos and how to sell and, like, kind of, like, stuff like that, like, related to, like, the resellers and reselling. Um, because the people, like, a lot of people send me DMs and messages asking about it and... I feel like maybe I should do more videos like that, but I don't know how interested you guys, like the rest of you guys are, or if I just like keep it to the DMs, but let me know, comment down below in the comments, uh, but hope you guys enjoyed today's video, I am still like on a high from it, and I hope you guys had fun, if you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up, let me know down, down below in the comments if you guys have found anything really cool recently too at the thrift, because I always love to hear about finds as well, tune in to today's Vlogmas episode, it's up at 11, the new Thriftmas thrifting video is up tomorrow at 7am, I love you guys immensely, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Alright, bye!